as we look at summer, there are several noteworthy holidays coming up on our radar. That summertime spirit of patriotism is on the rise. It is time to break out the red, white, and blue. I love this time of year for so many reasons. Today's project tips its hat to that. The stars and stripes can become the backdrop to everything you do this summer. We are making a fence panel flag. It's a new favorite project of Studio 5 creative contributor Kelly Loniker. Can we just say hello and introduce it? Because my goodness, yes. it's a statement. Isn't it fun? What did you make exactly? So this is made out of fence panel pieces. This is amazing. But I wanted something that has like a big wow, right? Yeah. And I wanted I wanted something in my yard for a long time that was just could sit up all summer and just kind of be that American statement, yeah. right? Yeah. It pairs so well all through. You can put it up June. It can stay up through July and even August. I don't think it's just a July thing. No, right? no. It's and in it's in style. It's in vogue all year round. The other thing I love about it is you can put it in front of your house. You can put it against a fence. If you have a party, bring it in as like a backdrop for the food table for the party. So yeah. it plays a lot. It's movable. I love it. So you were considering actually painting your fence. Yes, so I lived in this house once where the girl painted on like an old vintage, not a vintage fence, but like an old tattered fence. That you rickety. Know? Yes, that kind of old wood feel. She painted a flag on it and oh, it was cool. amazing. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Yeah. So I've considered doing that, but I wasn't quite ready for the commitment. That is a commitment. And honestly, this was just like, oh, it's perfect. I have it up there. It can be up there when I want it. If I want to move it, I can, but it's not like that permanent yeah. on my fence feel. But so. we often talk about a backdrop setting the mood for a party. Mm -hmm. Talk about a project setting the mood for your entire summer. This would be all you'd need to deck up that deck, that patio, yep. and feel like you're in full flavor. Yeah, I have it in my garden right now, and it just, every time I walk outside, it just feels like it enhances yes. that summer mood, you know, and kind of like a party festive celebration mood. And too. the fact that you made it, I think, adds to that enhanced feeling. So what did you make it from? Here's what you're gonna love. This is like an under two hour project for sure. Under two hours? Yes, and it really only has a few pieces. Okay. So, um, you are gonna get fence panels. So this is a cedar fence panel. Mm -hmm. They're like 250 a piece, you need 13 of them. You also need three pieces of two by three. This is just like a furring strip. I just got the cheapest thing I could. Okay. And they actually cut it at Home Depot. Uh -huh. You'll just say, hey, I want this cut to 46 inches. They do it for you. They do it for you. They don't charge you anything for it. These Bless are like them. 250 a piece too, and you can get two pieces out of it. So, so I'm doing quick two math. Are we like 50 bucks? So with paint, glue, everything, if you buy everything from scratch, one is gonna cost you right under 70. And then the second one, if you do two, is only like another 50 because you already have the paint. So grab so a girlfriend. So all the supplies, yes. Grab a sister yep, and there do you this go. together. Yep. Okay, so first step is you wanna lay out all your pieces and come on over here, yeah. I'm gonna show you. So this is just spray paint, right? And I just used really good traditional Americana colors. Yes. And I just Ralph made- Ralph Lauren would be so yeah, proud right now. Yeah, it's so true. So I didn't, this is kind of supposed to be like vintage and a little worked over. So I'm not trying to get perfect paint colors. Also the cedar fence panels, they're gonna be rough and that's yeah. what you want. Cause it's you a, want it to kind of- It's rustic. Exactly, you want it to look like it's weathered and it's been out there for a few years yeah. already, right? Yeah. Okay, so I line up seven pieces and spray them all red. And okay. then six pieces get all sprayed white right next to each other. And you can put them this close together when uh -huh. you're spraying them so you're not wasting more paint. And you don't need to treat the board. I mean, it's gonna nope. slurp up the paint nope. just right. But that's, see how it kind of like yeah. soaked it up in some ways and you like that because uh -huh. it looks a little more weathered, right? right? Right. And then in the blue section, all I did was after my reds and my whites were painted, I did block off a block so I wasn't painting more than I needed to on the red and white, you okay. can see. Uh -huh. But I measured 28 and a half inches in, and then I just got a piece of wood that was an equivalent, and it's real windy, so we'll see. I don't know if my spray paint's gonna um, play well with this, but all you're doing to make that nice, crisp, you can see it just makes that nice crisp line. Uh-huh. And it was just, it's just easy. It's fast and easy, right? It's satisfying. Can I oh, say yeah. that? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm like nodding to the instant gratification right? that we shouldn't be celebrating that is our society right now, but how satisfying yes. to pull off a project like this size, so this fail in two yes, hours. Yes, and have such a wow, you know? Yeah. The stars are the same. So the stars are gonna come in a pack of 100 is it on like Amazon. Yes, they're just like, a, they're actually wood. Oh, okay. But I just laid all of them out, the same white spray paint at the same 
same time I painted the fence panels, yeah. I just sprayed all the stars. Hit them right? all, and so then how did you adhere them? So we're gonna talk about glue. We're gonna talk about construction glue. That's yeah. what I used. But the easiest thing to do is to get a pull a picture of a flag, okay. right? I'm gonna come down here no, with you. No, it's good, thank you. Thanks for coming to my You're level. You're welcome, always, <laughs> A always. good friend always comes uh -huh. to your yeah. level. So, and the easiest thing to look at a picture of a flag, but you line up six, it's a row of six and then a row of five. And uh -huh. you can see on the other one, you can kind of, you line them up this way and then you also get a diagonal line. So oh. if you look, I learned that after I laid them you all out. You wouldn't know that. Like, oh, it's a diagonal too. So it's you the can aha Betsy Ross mm -hmm. hat, right? Yep. yep, so you can kind of line them up on those two different planes. So if you okay. look at this, yes, you've got all your straight lines, but those straight lines should also work into Did you use a, a ruler diagonal. or just? I, guess I it, didn't because I'm not that person. Well, and there's but lines you, for you. Yes, so you kind of line them up. But if you look at, um, if you look at a picture, it's really easy to kind of see like, okay, this row is gonna match up with the middle of the red yeah. because your striping matches up so perfectly. Got it. So okay. yeah. it really is easier to get the stars aligned. I didn't measure at all. You can kind of see I have some, but it adds to kind of the, sure. oh, you know, it's vintage and fine. Right. Okay, so once you have all your pieces painted, yeah. then we gotta glue them all together. Right. Have you ever used one of these? No, Tell me you but I've wanted to. <laughs> Today's your day. <laughs> okay. So this is a cult gun, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But they also make like great construction adhesive. So if you ever wanna be lazy and not screw or nail something, uh -huh. but you want it to be permanent, you just get construction adhesive. Okay. So basically to open this, I'm just gonna give you a little demo. You're gonna cut the top of this, and then you gotta poke something like a hanger. I was standing back anticipating the crescent roll can. <laughs> Pop, but no, not that dramatic. Not that much. Okay. However, when you do pop down there, it can like come up a little bit. So okay. you need like a, a nail or a, a hanger, something that's like deep that's gonna go in because there's that same crescent pan like lining down there okay. that you gotta pop, yeah. okay? So once you have that, you put it in your um, caulk gun here. And this is really cool. It has basically, it's really simple. This is gonna turn it on mm -hmm. and this little button is gonna turn it on. Had you used one of these before this project? Yeah. Yes. Of course you have. All the time. So She's caulking, a yes, yes. I love this thing. So if you ever need like a really strong adhesive uh -huh. and you don't really need it to look pretty, yeah. this is like okay. cheap, easy, fast. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna let you do it because I believe in you. You've I got this. I'm grateful for so that. So you're gonna take your three pieces and yeah. you're gonna put one on each side Side and one in the middle. These? Yep. So basically, like that? Uh huh. So you want to lay all your pieces upside down. Right. Quick tip you have to flip your blue to the other side. The first time I glued it down, Why? I turned it all because it's like a mirror image. So the first time I did it, I oh. had my flag laid out like this and I just flipped the things over and oh, then glued it okay. down. When I stood it up, my flag was backwards. Yep. Luckily, my glue wasn't set yet, so okay. I could just pull them off. So when you do your blues, remember your blue, the so back side it. of your blue's gotta yes. be on that. Yes. Okay, so we'll just do one just to show you. So I'm gonna let you use this glue, okay? And you wanna really chunk it on there, okay? So don't be sparing with the glue and you wanna kinda go in a zigzag manner. Like this? Yep, so turn it, oh. so oh. turn it this way, yep. Like that? So I cut it in an angle, yep, that works. And you can go here, I'll even tip it down. Yeah, you're like doing that. Right. It's awesome. It's like frosting a cake, right? but messier, right? And really sticky and really adhered. Is, hey, it, is that about great. the right yep. quantity? I think that's awesome. That's even, that is probably more than you need, but it's not gonna hurt I'm you I'm an anymore. overachiever. Hey, you frost that cake, okay. it's great. So then you're gonna flip this over. Okay. Once, obviously you're gonna have all your panels laid out. Yeah. You're gonna have this whole thing you gooed up good. That cake. And then you just literally stick it on and watch. It's gonna like ooze out. And okay. that's how you know you have enough. Uh huh. So that's your first one. You're gonna repeat that three times. Uh huh. And then I like to just take a little weight, yeah. whatever the weight is. Yeah. I use like five gallon water jugs at home and just set it on there. Cause that's really gonna make that like ooze out. And you wanna have enough that it's kind of oozy. Okay. Cause then you know it's really gonna stick. Gonna hold. You wanna let this sit for a good couple hours before yeah. you move it. Yeah. Really overnight is gonna be the best. It technically takes like five days to fully cure, but it's really solid after that but one day. But this is all you need to stabilize these boards from the right side. You're you done. don't need to go in between? Nope. Okay. So I just did one, two, yeah. three. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, and then this is the important thing. It will keep squeezing out uh -huh. until you push the little off button. Okay. Okay. So just so you know at home, when it's like <gasps> oozing out the frosting, you gotta turn it off. And these boards line up flush with the bottom. Yep, if you cut them to 46 inches, you could do okay. them. I considered having them a little longer so it was almost like a steak. Yeah. 
but I decided just to make just it plush and that it. gives you a little more flexibility. Okay, yeah. we will put all of these instructions for you on the Studio Fi website. The finished effect, what do you love the most? The impact, the wow? I love that it's this contrast of color against the green. Yeah. And so if you have it against a fence, a white house, can you imagine it just popping against a white house? It's so that pretty. really fun contrast of yeah. summer, but it just feels like that summer celebration. So. And we love the Americana. Kelly, thank you so much You're for so the welcome. detailed instructions on our website, studio5.ksl. Com. I love that your project success is our win too. Hey, it's a win all around. Love it. Thank you, girlfriend.